Good afternoon Year 7, welcome to the Redbridge Science Channel. This afternoon we're going to be looking at Liebig distillation and our learning objective is can I explain why Liebig's condenser is a very clever design when you want to separate a mixture. So the mixture that I'm going to try to separate today is a mixture of ethanol and water. We've already put a little bit of red dye into the water just so that you can see it. So I'm going to put some ethanol into there and add some water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tip a little bit of this mixture onto the mineral wool because I just like to find out whether the mixture is flammable at the beginning or not. And I hope you can see there on the camera that it is not flammable. So the mixture is not flammable at the beginning. So now I'm going to pour the mixture into this round bottomed flask. You might spot that in the bottom of the flask we've put a little bit of porcelain. That's acting as something called anti-bumping granules. Um, the idea of those is to try to allow that mixture to, to warm up, to heat up fairly gently. We don't want it to get too hot too quick. And so I've put that in there and I'm going to put into the top of the round bottom flask a thermometer, which is obviously going to tell us the temperature here in the flask. And I'm going to ignite the Bunsen and get that going, because it'll take a couple of minutes. And so what's going to start to happen here in the flask is that the, the mixture is going to warm up, okay? Now, this is the Liebig condenser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this tap on here. And it's going to be pumping cold tap water through this pipe and in. The cold water from the tap goes in here at the bottom. And hopefully you can see that it's spiralling its way up through the spiral and then back down out of the top tube here and it's running out here into the sink. So by pumping cold tap water in at the bottom, up the spiral that runs through the centre of the condenser and back out, what it's going to do is it's going to keep the condenser here lovely and cold. So we've got heat here, which will hopefully be making things boil and evaporate, and a condenser here, which is going to stay lovely and cold. So there are going to be two processes going on. We have evaporation here in a minute, and condensing going on here. And what I want to know is, can I separate the ethanol from the water? So have a quick look at the temperature. Right, the temperature at the moment is only around about 30 degrees Celsius. It will warm up fairly quickly. You might be thinking to yourself that you know what the, the temperature of boiling water is going to be. So you might be thinking already about uh, what you might see happening here in a minute. But then again, you might be in for a surprise. Just going to check that it's still running. Yep, the condenser is still working. While that's doing its thing, I'll show you a diagram that you'll be given after the, uh, after the video. So here's a diagram of Liebig's condenser. So we here, we've got the round bottom flask with the mixture in it, the thermometer at the top. Uh, you've got the condenser here running through where we put the cold water in at the bottom and the cold water comes out at the top. And here, in the beaker, over here, so I'm hoping that in a minute we will start to collect something that's called the distillate, okay, the distillate, the, the product that you get at the end of the distillation process. 
Okay, now the temperature's approaching 40. And you can probably now see that the, the anti-bumping granules are beginning to absorb a lot of the heat. They're beginning to sort of jump around a bit. But you can possibly also see that something in that mixture is appearing to boil. It's beginning to boil. I can certainly see bubbles, which is a good indication of perhaps gas. And also on here, there are signs of boiling. And in fact, the temperature is now reached... 55 degrees Celsius, and I think there is something here beginning to come down the condenser. Just check this. Yeah, this is really cold, which is great. That's boiling hot. This is still really cold. And here, it's running down the, down the condenser, just past the spiral, and in a moment, I'm hoping we can collect some distillate. Temperature is now 70 degrees Celsius. Seventy-five Celsius. There we go. So now we've definitely got some distillate coming out of there. The important thing here though is that the temperature is still around about 75, just creeping up towards 80 degrees, 80 degrees now. So we haven't reached the boiling point of water yet. Okay, hopefully you know that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. We haven't reached it. So something in that mixture has already boiled and it was boiling from around about 70 degrees Celsius towards 80 degrees Celsius. So I'm now going to try and find out what this is is. So I'm going to take the distillate and I'm going to pour it back into the mineral wool here. And let's find out whether that will ignite. There we go. Hopefully you can see that that ignites fairly easily. Turn the lights out. There we go. That's better. You can definitely see that now. Okay. So clearly, that is the ethanol that was in the mixture at the beginning. It is not water. It's ethanol. And I guess what we've just proven there then is that we have been able to separate the water from the ethanol. The ethanol has boiled. It has evaporated at its boiling point, which is around about 70, 75 degrees Celsius. It's evaporated, and then as it's come down Liebig's condenser, which is still lovely and cold, it's cooled and it's cooled back into liquid ethanol. The water is still sitting here in the round bottom flask because I haven't yet reached the boiling point of water because water won't boil until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. So that is how you can separate two liquids in this case using distillation. And of course Liebig's condenser is a really clever design because that spiral with the cold water helps this to stay lovely and cold and it makes sure that all of your distillate is collected. It makes sure that everything condenses back and that you get a nice distillate product at the end. Okay, thank you everybody.